Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with mysticgenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today, tonight, whenever you see this, I would like to offer the Rune Elemental reading for the week of October 19th, 13th through the 19th. If I could talk, it would be helpful. Um, I read intuitively, so we'll pick the keywords from the runes and then we'll go with what source brings in. Um, I read for the elements instead of the zodiac if you're interested in as why you can check out the link in the description I have a video that I've made about that um, and then otherwise there's also a birth chart I won't go into that right now but it's linked in the description if you're interested as well now moving on we'll get started with our reading we'll start off with fire which covers the zodiac signs of Aries Leo and Sagittarius so our fire family, we have your first rune is Fehu, one of the first ones. It's also one of the Elder Futhark, so this is kind of a baseline rune here. Color is light red, tarot association is the tower, astrology is Aries. So fire, this is going to be kind of your week to get some things started. Good luck, success, fertility, and harmony are the words associated with that going forward fire this is really a week about what are you wanting to start the tower is saying that you have been dismantling a few things and now you've got some bits and pieces laying around but just happen to be the right bits and pieces to start your next project so you've got a lot of really positive energy and with Aries as your astrology coming in with this it's also saying that this is the time of getting things moving getting a lot of momentum expended at this point the only downside of Aries, there's not a lot of holding power. They like to start things, likes to get things going, and then wander off. So your second rune might actually help define some of that a little bit better. We have, where'd he go? Ingas, which is fertility. Color of yellow. Tarot association is judgment. Astrology is the new moon. Contemplation of ideas or project signifies new beginnings, a time of positive energies, good fortune. Fire, this week looks amazing for you. It's definitely the week to get things going. If there's a new project you're working on, this is the week to really set those next steps, whether it's physical um, actions or if it's really getting those plans made on paper or working the intentions to break down any barriers that might be in energetically or mentally in the way. This week fire it's all on you you have got everything lined up you've got uh, Aries as part of your baseline which is one of the fire energies and so you've got a lot of really good things going for you this week so it's definitely a time to take those next steps work the actions that are coming forward for you they're also saying that if you were you know, if you're in a relationship and you've been wanting to procreate have another have a little one this could be a very uh energetically positive week for that so just something to be aware of going forward uh, let's hop over to our earth family and earth is taurus virgo and capricorn so earth family we're starting off with wunjo the joy rune its color is yellow the tarot association is strength astrology is leo so it's a sign of happiness harmony between people situation changing for the better you've been through a lot earth is what i'm hearing and it could be positive or negative it's just been a busy time period for you is what i'm hearing and you've had shown a lot of strength well this cart this rune is saying especially tying it into the tarot of strength you've done a lot and it's been in a way that other people observe it as being easy they don't realize how much work training practice experience and failures you've already experienced to get to where you're at now and the wound joke card is saying enjoy the fruits of your labor you've already done all the work you've had the pitfalls you've tripped and you know <laughs> skidded to your knees a couple times you're you're good you've done this you you know what you've got going forward what i'm also hearing with this one is things that are in the past those lessons that were a little bit rough this is the week where you're going to start noticing some of those are resolving some of those are settling down so overall this is going to be a good week for bringing some things pardon me bringing some things to a close ending some stuff that's not been healthy because this is the natural resolution 
But the beauty of those kind of situations is it builds your strength, but it also gives you some valuable lessons if you choose to use them going forward on how to avoid that mess ever happening again. Um, where's our second rune at? Uh-oh, wrong page. No, there it is. Um, your second rune, and it's interesting because you have a fair amount of fire going on here, Earth, is the Kano rune, which is also the torch or fire. And the, lather, the other rune is... Leo, so you've got fire going on twice here. Uh, color so is light red. Terror association is the chariot. And astrology is Venus. Interesting, no air in, in the Earth reading this week. Uh, signifies creative fire, awakening artistic impulses, passion, and sexual desires. Everything is resolving. Everything is settling down in a lot big way. Everyone's seeing the things that you're doing as, oh, it's easy because look at how easy they're making it look. Earth, you have put so much time and effort into it. Now you could almost be called a master of some of the things that you've done because you make it look so effortless. The beauty of that is now you don't have to stress about it. You don't have to worry about it. You can just do the thing. Um, but there's also this element coming forward this week for the fire that's tapping into that creative side. So yeah, you've done a lot. You've gained a lot of tools and talents and skills and abilities. Um, some, of, some of them have come with um, <laughs> some bumps and bruises along the way. But what's interesting is now that you've done all of that, you've went through the processes, you've done the deep work, you have conquered your demons, so to speak, it's now time to expand a little bit. What's something that you have been wanting to work on that you haven't? What is something that you have been really observing from a distance that you're like, oh, one day maybe take some time this week and look into it more. Actually spend some real time going, is this something that I am truthfully interested in? Is this something that I truly want to do? Whether it's start that website, hop on YouTube or one of the other platforms, if it's starting asking for that promotion, whatever it is that you've been wanting to do and you've been kind of setting it off to the side, oh, one day I'll get to that. Put some serious looking into it this week is what I'm hearing because you've got a lot of positive things and what they're, what they're emphasizing is you have already done the work. You have already set this thing in motion. You have already gained the skills, knowledge, wisdom, etc. Are you ready to move forward? And this is a time to ask. And you may not be quite ready yet. That's fine. But this is a good week to do some examining and checking in on that. So let's hop over to our air family, which is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And I'm really not sure why with the runes this happens, but it does. So <laughs> um, air, your first rune is... The Isa rune, which is the ice rune. Color is black. Tarot association is the hermit. Astrology is the moon in general. This rune denotes some kind of obstacle, coldness between people. A time to observe, keep silent, refrain from, comment. Air. Observe. Understand. Process. This week is not a week of high action for you, is what I'm hearing. It is definitely a week of stepping away from situations. And, you know, it could be a period of time you're going through right now that just kind of needs a little bit more distance from it. It doesn't mean to distance yourself completely, but don't get involved. You have a very intellectual mind, um, analytical to the point of sometimes of being frustrating. But this week is the time to allow that analytical mind to look at the bigger picture. Allow yourself to see what is actually happening, not words. Words you can play with, you can make them say, be whatever. But someone's actions are not that easy to ignore. And what this is saying is this week is a time where you just need to observe. Step back from the situation and observe the bigger picture. Your second rune should I get the right one? This one always gets me. Is the Manaz rune, the man rune. Color of deep red. Tarot association is the magician. Astrology is Jupiter. Humankind in general. Deep wisdom held in the body and mind. Mind, body, and spirit as one. Knowledge, memory, interdependence of masculine and feminine. You've got some interesting energy coming up because it's calling you to observe, but it's also saying 
tapping into your inner wisdom. So these are things that you have been working on. And right now is not the time for swift action. It's not the time to really get involved. It's definitely the time to step back and just observe what's happening. Pay attention to how other people are interacting. How does that apply to you? How does these uh, how do these actions apply to mind, body and spirit within yourself? Are you observing a lesson that maybe you need to hear and you're watching it play out in someone else's life because that is something that air will do. They don't always have to be the ones involved in the action. Sometimes they're watching other people and learn be through their experience, through the other's experience. What I'm also hearing with this, you have the magician coming forward and Jupiter, meaning you already have all the tools you need. You can make, make whatever you're watching into greatness or into destruction. That's up to you. But with Jupiter, it's also saying, enjoy this process because it's not worth getting upset or um, or being dramatic. I'm not sure why they use that word over all of this, but it's definitely the time to, you have the gifts, the tools, and the skills to do this. Step back, observe. And I, I'm, I'm hearing that this is a period of time for you specifically, Air, and I mean period of time is in possibly this entire month, where stepping back and observing and not getting involved in these situations is going to be beneficial for you. It's what I'm hearing is this month is all about you have you need to observe. You need to see this. It's not a matter of you need to be involved in this. You need to see this. You need to witness this. You are That's interesting. You are the divine witness in this aspect, so it's definitely your time to just Pay attention, keep your eyes open. Your particular set of skills and talents are going to come in very useful after this is all said and done with. So whatever situation is going on right now, it's definitely not something you want to get involved in because it's a little dirtier than uh, maybe a scene from the outside. Uh, let's hop over to our water family. And our water family covers Cancer, Scorpio, and our Pisceans. We have Iowaz, which is the yew tree, is your first rune water. A color of dark blue, tarot association is the hanged man, and astrology is Scorpio. So this actually ties deeply into the water element um, with this rune. Protection, signifying a time of death rebirth, using foresight and perseverance. Sounds a little dark, sounds a little sinister. What are you doing this week to protect your energy? There's going to be some things coming up that are going to change the course of your current path. Maybe a drastic change, it could be a minor change, but there's things going on that are going to, something has to come to an end for something new to begin and you're not quite comfortable with what is going on is what I'm hearing. So there's things that are going on you know of and those are the things that are making you uncomfortable. But there's also some stuff going on in the world as in your little bubble as however big that bubble is i say little bubble because it's like your microcosm um the things are going on there you've got some stuff there's some people behind the scenes that are being a little bit more shady than you're catching right now don't worry you will catch them water's very intuitive and they tend to pick this stuff up really quick this is kind of like a heads up there's more going on than you realize but you also have this drastic change of course going on, whether it's a little drastic or big drastic. The hanged man is saying, things need are getting shook up right now. Are you capable of adapting to this new uh, vision? Are you able to see things from the different perspective? Because as things, just as a simple fact, as things change, the more they stay the same. This rune does not have a reverse. It's, up, it's upright or upside down either direction. And that's what they're saying is water it doesn't really matter what's going on are you willing to go with the flow on this follow your intu intuition and instincts because they are going to play a vital role this week they're also saying protect your energy for water things could be a little bit rough could have a little white water if you have used to rafting going on doesn't mean it's bad just means there's some shaking up going on so definitely you know, set your boundaries and take that personal time and set your boundaries firmly for protection and whatever else you might need because things could be a little hiccupy this week. Your second rune, if I find the right page, 
do 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 where, where did it go? Oh, for seriously. There it is. Not sure why they like to hide. Uh, it's Tia was the tier god of war, color of bright red, tarot association is justice, astrology is Libra, so you're tying in some air here. It's signifying courage and energy, the power to weave the pattern of your own life. That is like the perfect tie-in for these two runes, water, because there's some things going on, things you know about, some changes needing to happen, things that need to end so others can begin, but you also have things going on that you're not catching to start with. There are some shady, and they keep saying people, not things, that, uh, and not bad shady, but they're hiding stuff from you. You're going to you're gonna call them out, and you're going to catch them on it here shortly, though, and that's <laughs> that's kind of the amusement that I'm getting out of this, because Tear... The Tiawaz rune, uh, this one, with the god of war, you have the courage and the energy, the power, the ability, the gifts, the tools, the skills, however you see that, to deal with what's coming up. They're also saying, and this is a little bit about of a personal accountability, you see what's going on. You have a choice. Are you going to play victim? And I didn't even know what was happening. Now what, oh, poor, poor, pitiful me, what will I do? Or are you going to say, you know what, I didn't see that coming, but I'm going to weave that into the story. I'm going to write my own play. Those people do not get to control my life just because they were hiding that information. I will make the adjustment and move forward. Because Tiawaz, with the God of War, you have a lot of this knowledge, power, and skill. But you're not always using it like you should. And this is saying, use it this week. You can do what you need to do. And water you can be a little bit emotional but you can also use others emotions this is the week where you can use their emotions to resolve the situation make them feel guilty not you 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 don't you have nothing to feel guilty about this week they are the ones that are not being upfront and honest therefore they are the ones that should feel the guilt and shame not you so <laughs> uh, moving forward in this week it seems like this is going to be a really busy week for everybody but air air you've got this observation thing going on where you almost have to be aloof with your situation so over this week follow your instincts follow your intuition again these readings are general so take what works leave the rest and with that follow your instincts follow your intuition pray and meditate contact god source divine and your guardians this week's going to be a little bit hectic could be a little bit busy but you've got this and you have the strength to move forward with it with that, I will wrap this up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on the video, and comment. Let me know your thoughts, feelings, and impressions, and I will see you in the next video.